the Roman Catholics are utterly dependent upon their priest. They are a mediator of God's grace. And it starts off with priests has, have to baptize Roman Catholics for regeneration and justification. And after that, the priest hears their confession and absolves their sin after they do penance. And then the priest offers the body and blood of Jesus in the Eucharist. And that's literally the body and blood of Jesus through the miracle of transubstantiation. And then it's the priest who imparts the Holy Spirit during the sacrament of confirmation. It's also the priest that gives last rites to Catholics on their deathbed. But even after a Catholic dies, they're still utterly dependent upon their priesthood, because it's the priest who will then offer the sacrifice of the Mass to get them out of purgatory more expeditiously. But he refuses to do so unless indulgences are purchased. And so normally what happens is the family of the deceased will go to the priest and purchase mass cards. They'll put the name of their Catholic loved one on the mass card, return it to the priest with a stipend of money or an offering, and the priest will lay it on the altar. And the mass, the sacrifice of the Eucharistic Christ, is supposed to reduce time in purgatory for the name of the person on the card. And so no priest can tell the Catholic family how many masses must be said. And so Catholics are in bondage to religious deception, not only in this life, but also in the next life, because they're still utterly dependent upon the priesthood. 